Welcome to Farzi's Survival World. I made this series with one goal in mind, to make the best survival world in Minecraft history. So if you like epic builds, amazing structures, and a few comical fails now and again, you do not want to miss this. I just realized something. Inside our brand new aquarium, we forgot something. We have no dolphins, we have no squids, all we have is fish and turtles. So, let's go try and get a dolphin in here. This is not the plan for the whole day, but I just thought about that and I was like, wait, that'd be a good idea, let's go find a dolphin. I probably need some leads too, don't I? But anyways guys, as I do this, how y'all doing? Everyone doing well? Is school going good? Did you feed the chickens? Okay, if I were a lead, I'd be right here. Perfect. So I'm gonna get some leads. Oh, I'll get a couple actually. And I'm also gonna want some buckets of water. Just because if we're gonna get mobs that need to breathe underwater, or at least be underwater, we gotta make sure that they have water to sit in. Also, check this out. I made these new roads over here. I always try and like expand the roads out more and more because when you don't have these roads in between buildings, it just looks a little bit basic so i've been adding some roads around here and it's looking mighty nice all right are there i see a squid down there and i see a dolphin down there perfect okay mobs come here can i please tell me i can lead you both i can't lead you oh dolphin please oh dolphin i'm going too fast yeah 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 i can't lead him can i oh wait Oh, it's because I'm underwater. Oh, man. Okay, there's no good way to do this. How am I... Let me get in the boat. Get in the boat. Squid. Squid. Get in the boat. Squid in the boat. Get in the boat. Oh, man. I have an idea. I have retrieved the sponges. There's a 0% chance this works. <laughs> All right, let's go for the dolphin first. So the idea is... Mr. Dolphin, come here. We're gonna just... We're gonna... Oh, I'm going too fast again. Oh. Actually, I'm gonna go somewhere else. I'm gonna go somewhere where the water's a little bit, like, shallower, I guess? And maybe it'll be easier? Wait! It just worked! The lead just worked! What- what changed from last time? Okay, forget the sponge! Come, Mr. Dolphin! We got places to be! That was so weird. Okay, I gotta be careful here, though, because if I make any big mistakes here, Mr. Dolphin here could die. So, Mr. Dolphin, come this way. We're gonna be very safe here, we're very careful. All right, ready? We're gonna make you a little bit of a pool right here. Come here, get in the water. Get in the water, okay, good, you're safe, you're in the water. All right, let's bust through here. No, 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 don't go in the ravine, don't go in the ravine. No, come on, get in the water. Oh, God, just stay in the water, just enjoy your water. I'm gonna make you a pathway. Oh, no, there's a ravine right here. This is the worst spot for him. All right, we're gonna go somewhere else. You just stay put. All right, get back in the water, get back in the water. Come in the water. All right, there you go, you're safe right now. If you guys are wondering why I'm going so fast, I have like Depth Strider 3 and when a dolphin gives you dolphin's grace, you whip. Like, look how fast I'm going. It's crazy. All right. Oh, you're up here. Perfect. Come here. Hurry. Hurry. Keep coming. Keep coming. Hurry. We're going to speed run this. Speed run. Let's go. I'm like Dream. I'm like Dream with a dolphin. Let's go. Speed run. Let's go. <laughs> I'm so scared for the sake of this dolphin's life. Hurry. <gasps> are you dying? No. No. Get in. Get in. Get up here. Hurry. Dolphin, get in here. Dolphin. Dolphin, please get in here. You're going to die. Okay, come on. Yes, keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. We're almost there. Don't die yet. I know he's going to die soon. Come on. Come on. In here. In here. Come on, just jump. Let's go. We got the dolphin. <laughs> Let's go. Wow, that was electrifying. That was the greatest thing of all time. <laughs> Mr. Dolphin, enjoy your stay. I hope you uh, aren't too dry from that <laughs> getting dragged across the concrete. <laughs> okay, next up, the squid, which I don't think will be possible because if I can't lead these guys, which I don't think I can. Nope, Minecraft, your game's broken. Well, it's sponge time, right, Mr. Squid? Just, wait, let me quickly, hold on, let me do this, do this. All right, you ready? Mmm, didn't work. If I can trap him somewhere, like, okay, ready? If I can break some of this and get him stuck inside, like, a little area like this, then I can get all the water out of here and push him up one direction. This is actually impossible. Never mind that plan. Here's my last idea. I'm gonna smack the boat down right under where he is. Like, go right to where that guy is and just smack it down real fast. All right. Oh, you went under it, you little sneak. Boat right there. Oh, get in the boat. Ugh. 
Okay, forget the squid. Here is my idea. I think squids can spawn in like open water like this. So I'm just gonna wait and hope that a squid spawns in here after like maybe like a week or so. And if, if there's no squid here by next week, then I don't know, maybe I'll come back to this, but I'm done. Wait, where's the dolphin? Where's the dolphin? Huh? Did he jump out or something? There's no dolphin in here. Bro, what the heck? What an absolute outrage. I gotta get another one. Come on, come on, I got two this time. Hurry up. All right, we're almost there. Come on, don't jump out this time, okay? Come on, get over here. All right, get in, get in the tank. Are they gonna like, do they die from like the water? Hey, other dolphin, come on, come on. See, I'm afraid, like, are they just gonna die because there's other like mobs here? I don't think that's how it works, but I, I don't know. I just can't imagine them jumping out when this- I guess they could right here though. Okay, I might have a fence in this shulker box. I am going to take a gamble here. I'm gonna do this. I have no fence. Ah, uh, wait, I can make one though. Let me do this. Let me do this. And I'm gonna do this. And I'm gonna tie them down at the bottom. That sounds cruel and unusual, but I don't trust these guys not to jump out. So we're just gonna do that. Let's go down here and go down to like this corner and yeah, okay, you guys stay there. Don't jump out. If these guys disappear, I'm going to have to do things that I don't want to do. Ah, oh, they look so miserable down there. I don't want to do that. Maybe I just have to expand the, ah, I, I gotta do more work. All right, I got some extra blocks. So here is the plan. We are, you are joking me. They're not dying, they're just despawning. Get a name tag, Farzy. Come on, don't be stupid. Granted, I don't get why dolphins despawn, cause don't passive mobs all not despawn, but whatever, whatever, I'm over it. Our two dolphins' names will be Pookie and Kookie. I don't know, don't ask. I'm just single-handedly just making dolphins go extinct. I'm just taking all of them out of the ocean and just killing them. All right, hopefully third time's a charm. Please get in here. They're slowly taking their time and they're gonna die. I know it. I know they're gonna die. Just my luck right now. Come on, please. Dolphins. Okay, come on. Get in. Get in. No, no. Come on. And one. How about the other one? Are they both in? They're both in. Okay, good. All right. Pookie. And over here. Kookie. All right, Pookie and Kookie. You guys, if you die, I'm going to actually be so upset. Now, just in case, I'm kind of tempted just to do this. Oh, I can't even get in now. Crap. Forget it. We're taking a risk here. All right. Dolphins, please. I beg you. Do not despawn or die. What's funny about that whole dolphin thing is that took so long and that wasn't even part of today's plan. That was totally just like on the fly. But anyways, for today's plan, I would like to make an automatic wheat farm. Well, technically semi-automatic. Now, in case you guys missed it, I actually made a tutorial on this farm. So if you want to watch that, link down below. But if you don't care about building it yourself, then sit back and watch the master build this thing. Okay, so for step one, I need to make some dispensers. Now, I don't know how to make those. I think it's just cobble, redstone, and a bow, but I could be wrong. Uh, Dangle, snipe, selly. Unenchanted, by the way. All right, well, pit stop time. Let's go down to our probably skeleton farm, right? I bet there's some bows down there. All right, if I pop down here, are there any bows in these chests? Hopefully, maybe, possibly, no, no, no. Well, that is depressing. Wait, definitely there's some down here. Let me take this grindstone with me right here. Let me take this thing and hop down here. I know, this is my old storage. So this farm used to be down here for the kill room, but now I moved it up a little bit taller. But anyways, the loot's still down here. So, <gasps> perfect. It's kind of sad because most of these bows have good enchantments on them, but it's like, I just can't carry them all up. So I do this. I also hate that Minecraft makes you get a fresh bow for this. I don't want a fresh bow. Let me do it with all these bows. Wait, I'm making droppers? What am I doing? Wait, you don't need a bow? Wait, I'm so confused. Why would it, why would it do that? When you click on the dispenser recipe, it doesn't put in the bow. It just gives you, I've been making the wrong thing. Minecraft, I love you dearly. You're having a tough day today. Wait, I can do this without a fully healed bow? What is going on today? 
All right, whatever. I'm good now, but I'm just having the worst day ever with Minecraft luck right now. I can't believe that. Like, the crafting recipe was wrong when I clicked on it. And then I find out that they changed how you can make it. Because before, at some point, you needed a fully healed bow. I'm positive of that at some point, but they must have changed it along the way. Well, all that stupid stuff aside, let's get to building this thing. So, let's go find a place for it to start. I mean, I could easily put it, like, down in the cave house, kind of like these farms down here. But I want it to kind of be, like, its own building. Like, I'm going to make a house around this thing. Kind of like how the aquarium was. So, I want to go find a nice open spot, make it there, then make a nice, like, roof and infrastructure around the farm. Maybe near this wheat field would be a good spot for it. Wait. Why do these always get trampled, man? The bad luck continues. I always just retill these these spots here, and they always get trampled by like villagers and stuff. So annoying. I have a hot take. I have a spicy hot take that many people who've played the game for years might disagree with. I think you shouldn't be able to trample crops. That's what I'm saying. When you're making a big wheat field like that, it gets destroyed by mobs and NPCs and computers and uh, all these mobs. Maybe you want to call these mobs. They're all just annoying. Okay, so over here is still like farm area. So maybe I could combine like two of these buildings right here. Like maybe, uh, I don't know. These probably would be better if they're just small buildings though. Maybe I'll smack it right here behind where this little, uh, the berry orchard is. So right in this area, like right, yeah, I can make, okay, perfect. I can make like the, uh, like the road go this way and it'll lead right up to here. Where we're going to have a farm right here. Perfect. So basically I'm just going to make these giant lines and have crops in between right here. Oh geez. This might be like a really big build actually. Cause I'm going to make these lines like multiple levels high and go up like this. I gotta rethink this actually. Okay, so after looking around, I'm gonna keep it here, but I'm gonna move it going this way. So it's gonna go behind these buildings right here. It'll probably fit in pretty nicely right here. So let's just do this. All right, so here's the width of this farm. Now what we gotta do is we gotta just make all these layers just dirt, which this one actually already is, and so is this one. So just gotta put some dirt here, put some dispensers back here. Let's do a test. If I put down some water and just put a button up here, is it this one? No, this one. Okay. It should keep going down, right? It should keep going down. Yes. Perfect. Okay. That is perfect. Turn off, turn off, turn off. Don't ruin everything. So now if done correctly, which I think it is, when I hit the water, it should all go all the way down to the very last block. So if I have crops here, they will all get touched. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, we are cooking. Now a better test is if I do all, whoopsies, all these dispensers getting touched and I put water in all of these, then what happens? And we click it and what happens? We go, good, good, and does it go even further? Per, oh, that is literally perfect. Okay, so for the farm, all that's left is just making the redstone go further, which I might have to get some repeaters for this, but I just gotta make this go all the way down the line. Does it reach? It does not. Dang it. Let's give her a little bit of a test, shall we? Do this, then do this, and one button press. Cross your fingers and your toes. Oh, it works. Okay, we are in business. Who said Farzy can't do redstone? I know it was you. You watching? I know you once said it. You did. Nah, no, I'm just kidding. It wasn't you, but one of you guys did. That kind of reminds me, on my tutorials involving redstone, I always get commenters that say, You stink at redstone. This is for them. Okay, skip forward to about half an hour and this farm is done. I didn't want to just keep recording me placing down crops and water, so I just finished it. But anyways, crops, water, hidden between these blocks, then of course a collection system, and what you might not have expected is all this glass up here. Now the reason I did this is because if you're spewing out all this water, some of the crops can kind of go over these blocks. They'll kind of like jump up and hop over the block. So I thought I'll have some like, just some assurance, just some uh, like some shielding kind of. And that's where this glass comes in. And I made it kind of like a greenhouse. We can like walk inside. We got some steps here and it really is awesome. So now we're going to get to the actual building part of this. Like this is the farm totally done, but now it's time to make like an outer shell of a building like this. And I got a pretty cool idea. All right. Do I have green terracotta? Ooh, I got a little bit. Probably need some more. Ah, uh, that's not enough. The reason I want to use green terracotta is because I kind of want to make like a greenhouse looking building because 
that's kind of what it is. It's kind of like a greenhouse farm because, you know, like the glass bubble I put on top. So it would make sense to make like a greenhouse and what better greenhouse than a greenhouse? But uh, So let's grab a shulker box and we're gonna find the coordinates for the mesa biome right over there. We're gonna go fly over there. Gosh, I just love adventuring in this game. I love just traveling. Like, I, I don't have a lot of reasons to travel nowadays because my kingdom is just so massive back there that all the blocks I need are back there. But occasionally, there's a rare block we need, like terracotta right now, and we can go get it, and it's great. Ooh, hello. If you guys are new here, I am still totally new to these broken portals because this world is five years old now, so... Ooh. So I usually don't find these cool things, but I recently regenerated some of my chunks, so now they're starting to spawn. So these are like the first few I'm ever finding in this world. Crying obsidian, come into my hand, thank you. Ooh, a village now, what do we got over here? Have I been here? I think I've been here before. But just in case, where's the loot? What the, what the heck? Oh, it's a, it's a barn. I was like, why is the ground grass? Uh, I'm dumb. Actually, you know what, while I'm here, I don't mind taking some of these things. I'll tell you what, I'll take them. After all, I'm making a wheat farm. I might as well take some extra wheat while I'm here. No, the zombies are here. I hate when zombies spawn next to villages. I'm not trying to destroy all you villagers. Are you even in here? You're not. Oh, okay. I guess it's a, is it a ghost town? You're getting hoed. Haha. <laughs> Two empty maps. Don't mind if I do. Oh, here, villager. Hello, sir. Let me take your bed. Oh, come on. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, all right, you guys are lame, I'm out of here. Aha, uh -huh. here we are. I've just now discovered there's no natural green terracotta here, so I gotta dye it myself. That's sad. So I come back home with all this terracotta, and I go into my dye, I got three green dye. No matter though, we can make more with cacti. One cacti. And as far as I know, I can't even bone meal cacti, right? Please, Mojang, I'm begging you, let me. Bone meal cacti right now. I'd be very appreciative. Come on. Ah! Okay, due to my sheer laziness, I'm changing the color. I'm sorry. I just don't want to go get a bunch of cacti right now. You know, I might just do white terracotta. I could do blue too, but I think white actually is a good looking block. I'm gonna go white. Okay, so here's the plan. We're gonna put a nice shell around this giant farm. Oh crap. Step two, sprinkle in some logs for extra detail. Step three, trick shot the iron golem. Now honestly, for the rest of this, I'm just gonna kinda wing it and just use my Farzy building magic, so BRB. Update, Farzy is the greatest builder of all time. Another update, Farzy has the least patience of all time. I'm so bored, man, I wish the building would just be done. Like, I'm telling you, I have the best ideas, but I get so lazy sometimes and so just bored of doing the same thing over and over. Like, right now, for example, I got this amazing roof idea, but there's so many slabs to be placed down. So many slabs. It's driving me insane. Just to note, I'm obviously exaggerating to be funny. I'm actually having a blast right now, so don't think I'm I'm getting sick of playing Minecraft. I know sometimes I get questions like, Farzy, do you ever get bored of your world, or sick of your world? I really don't that often. It's like rare I do, so don't worry. I'm just joking around. Whoa, that Iron Golem's doing 360 tricks. He tried to trick shot me back. That was incredible. That was the best thing I've ever seen. All right, I'm just finishing up this build. And boom, here it is. So, roof is done. I added some texture to the outsides, like just some fences, some slabs, some windows. And yeah, very simple, but very effective. And this place is looking beautiful on the inside as well. Looks nice. It's not crazy on the inside, but why would it be? It's a giant farm. And yeah, I think we're just about done. I might add in like something in here. Maybe like I'll just change the floor. That might be a good idea. Just change the floor actually. I like that idea. Oh yeah, this is so much better now. All white floors as well. This is, this looks awesome now. I actually love this now. Now for the final step, let's craft a door and throw that in the door frame and we'll see how it looks. And bada bing, bada boom, right here. And voila, that is perfect. And look at it from far away. I like it. It's a nice long building, which I don't have many like very, you know, one-way buildings are usually kind of symmetrical and square, so this looks different. 
And obviously pretty soon I'll expand the road over this way as well so I have like a nice walkway. Unfortunately these flowers might have to go just for the lack of space but that's fine I can put these somewhere else. And you know what, speaking of flowers, next time, maybe not next time, well maybe, I don't know, soon, I want to make a flower field. I don't know where, maybe like somewhere out that direction, because I got a lot of space over there. But I want to make a nice, giant, like, nature-y flower field, kind of like this right here, but on like a massive scale, like an entire field like this, full of flowers. I've seen some guys do that on YouTube, and it always looks really cool, it's like a nice, just colorful patch of of color, that's redundant. But yeah, future plan, definitely. But now, I'm rambling, let's do the most important part of the day, which is pressing the button. Does it work? Oh, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, oh, look at that. Not a single, whoa, I see a mistake. Okay, let's play a game called How Quick Can Farzy Fix This? Okay, that should work. I just put it in the ground instead. So these crops here will always be trampled. Oh man, so I gotta be careful now when I jump down. All right, I guess that's fine. Give her a test. Come on, will the water hit this crop? Please, I don't wanna have any more trouble right now. Are we good? We're good, okay, and you go in. Okay, this I threw there, so that's okay. It'll go in on its own. And yeah, easy way to get wheat in Minecraft. The only unfortunate part is when I'm done, I have to take out the seeds from here and go back inside and replant them all. Kind of a pain, but it is an automatic way to chop it down, so whatever. Now once again guys, if you want to make this farm yourself, I have a tutorial I just made literally two days ago, so go check it out. Once again, the link is down below. But now with all that being said, let's go end the episode the best way we know how, and that is by getting the comment of the day. And today, in the comment rainbow, we have a new comment by someone who is a very, very good fan for us. But regardless, their name is Jbug, and Jbug says, Love it! I have two Oscars in my fish tank at home. Fish tanks are so pretty. So thank you, Jbug, I appreciate that. She's referring to the amazing fish tank we made, or rather the aquarium, as you saw earlier today with the dolphin. But I picked her comment because she's using my new membership emojis. Flash them on screen! Not at all trying to pressure you guys, but just so you know, if you are a channel member, or if you're in my Discord, you can use my custom emotes that I made myself. I'm pretty proud of them. Aren't they pretty nice? I don't know. I think they are. So yeah, if you want to use those for free, you can join my Discord, link down below. And if you want to use them on YouTube, you have to join my membership, which you gotta pay for, so... Enough of that. The point is, guys, thanks for the support, thanks for all the love, and look- oh, I really can't see it from up here. I was gonna say, look at my new building. Well, look at my dolphins in there. I can't really see them, actually. But anyways, thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, do all the good stuff, and I'll talk to you guys next time. So until then, goodbye.